Hello guys, my name is Diego from the Hit Music Studio and in this video I would love to help you play the song Industry Baby by Lil Nas X. And this is a cool horn part played, uh, I believe, on keyboards that you can play on keyboards if you look for a keyboard sound that sounds good to recreate this. And I would like to give you some tips and some pointers so you could be successful in playing it. Let me tell you quickly that our versions are a little bit different sometimes. We make some alterations to make them easy to play for our students. And at the same time, for us, it's very important to give you tips and little techniques. So hopefully you are going to be successful in practicing and playing this. So let's go back to a close up so I can show you a couple things. The first thing that I would suggest is uh, go ahead and just do the right hand. The beginning, as you saw there, is just one note, right? E flat. Then it's an E flat minor chord with the same rhythm. And then it's like technically an E flat sus, uh, which would be E flat, uh, A flat, B flat, and uh, E flat on the top. And you're gonna do the same rhythm for that part. Holding it down. And in this case, uh, I am on purpose playing this with my right hand and then moving it up so I can play the next part. And there I was uh, trying to start the track that I have, but of course, you're probably not gonna have to do that because uh, I, in the way that I played it at the beginning, I didn't play the left hand but it's because I was trying to start the track so you guys can see it in that way. So uh, one more time there to a close up. The, the next part is actually where the horn part starts. And the horn part is gonna sound a little bit different if I play just with my right hand, but I think that's my suggestion for you. So practice this first three chords. It's uh, technically an E flat minor. Uh, again, uh, the chord is going to change its name in a second, but it's going to be E flat, G flat, and B flat. Now we're going to play that, then immediately followed by D flat, F, and A flat, and then uh, followed by B, we can call this uh, E flat and G flat. So this chord technically should be called C flat, but I'm going to try to simplify it and just talk about it as B, uh, E flat, and G flat. So we're going to play those three chords. And one thing, my suggestion when you're playing horn lines is good to play short, almost short and light. I think it, it almost uh, resembles a little bit better how those instruments actually play. So you want to do that in your in the way that you're pressing the keys uh, on a keyboard. So after you do those three, like definitely make sure that you can do those three, practice them many times, repeat them slowly, get comfortable with them. And it's okay if you just do that for two, three, five minutes at a time. Just get very familiar. Now, after that, there's a little bit of a change. We're going to do this three, which is going to be B, and E flat, and then A flat, followed by uh, A and uh, G flat, and then into a uh, B flat major chord, which is going to be B, B, and F. So my suggestion will be to practice this and just do it very slowly. So do and repeat that. And try to do the numbers that I'm doing there. One, two, five, then one and four, and then one, two, four, probably for the B flat major. So I think it's very good to just once again do that second section, get it really comfortable, really clear, and then try to do the next part, which I'll show you in a second. And I can tell you, when I was playing this and trying to play it for, uh, for the first uh, little snippet that I did as a tease, I had a lot of trouble, I did like 12 takes, I got them all wrong, and it didn't sound that precise. So take your time, This it's a little bit of one of those patterns that I personally find a little bit uncomfortable. So I think it's uh, with this type of stuff, it is normal to just take your time and make sure that you're playing the right keys. So uh, once we go back to that, let me show you, I guess, uh, let me first stitch those two. So it's gonna be. And then we're gonna have the new one, which will be technically, it's uh, again, uh, an E flat minor chord, uh, B flat, E flat, and G flat, followed by A, D flat, and F, and then followed by G flat, B flat, and E flat. Run it in like this. So once again, I think this third section, probably practice individually. Do that again. One more time. So once I put all of it together very slowly, Now, the good news is that the last three that I, that I just played, I played them back to go into what will be the loop. And then it starts again. So.
So those last uh, three almost like goes down and up. Now I can tell you that I made some alterations just because I feel like it's easier to do all of that with the right hand and I'll show you in a second what to do with the left. But I think that pattern makes sense, sounds like the song if you play with it. I think it's a, it's a fun little one to, to try and to try to almost get used to playing different things uh, on piano and keyboard. The songs have multiple layers and they are done in a way that I think as a keyboard player, you want to be able to play different styles and different almost instruments that you are recreating on the keyboard. So let's go there to try to show you what I was doing when I did it with two hands. Now here you're going to play an A flat and I'm playing an A flat in multiple times to almost reinforce the chord because the chord is actually this chord. And there, if I play, take my hand and go a little bit uh, higher, what I'm playing is a left hand. I'm playing it down here on the left side, so you can't see it on the software, but it's this. And then it starts sounding different because now they, uh, we change the root of the chord, which makes it almost like have a, a different anchoring point. So we have this. So when I change to the B flat major, I'm gonna change from A flat to B flat on the left hand. Uh, and then immediately followed by an E flat, which I'm gonna do this, all of that with an E flat on the bottom. And then when I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go up by doing E flat, F and G flat, and then going back. So one more time, if I try to do that very slowly, like, Then we repeat this. Now those notes are a little bit different when I'm going down 